Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So, in our previous videos for this data analysis and Power BI series, we have learned about how we can clean our data sets. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can define the tables. Define the tables is part of our designing the data model. Before proceeding with the visualization sections, we should define our data model. Under this data model design section, we first identify or we first define the tables. That means whatever the data we are importing or whatever the tables we are importing, we have to identify those tables are part of what type of schema? Flat schema, star schema or snowflake schema. Okay. With some example, I will explain you. First, start with this flat schema. Now, I will move on to this data section. Click on this table. What does it mean by this flat schema? If you observe, in this table, I have order level informations, customer level informations, geography level informations, product level informations, as well as I have sales quantity discount profit. That means some fact or measure level informations. In a single file or in a single table, I have all the informations in a denormalized format. Okay, so this is called denormalized format because in this single table, we are repeating some informations. That means the product names are repeating multiple times. Customer names are also repeating multiple times. And from this single table, we can design our data model and we can derive our visualization reports. This is called flat schema. Second schema, star schema. You may be heard about this star schema diagram. Okay, now I will show you another example. I'm moving to this model section. Here I have four tables. First, consider the star schema diagram. This is my sales table, CT table, and customer table. In a star schema diagram, we have dimension and fact. What does it mean by dimension? Dimension means it holds the informations about some entity. Okay, that means it's a customer table. It has customer informations. This is a customer ID. That means it's a unique identifier for a customer. It has some customer name. It can have customer address, customer phone number. That means in this table, I have unique information of each customer. Here, customer name will not be repeated, okay? Another dimension table, this is a CT, or you can say some geography. CT table, I have this CT ID, CT name, and the corresponding state ID. I will come to this table later on, okay? Now, this is my sales table. Sales table, I have some sales informations. I can have profit information, discount information. That means, this table holds the information about a company's fact, okay? Company's numerical informations mostly. Also, you can observe here I have city ID, customer ID, and it is connected with this dimension table, okay? That means it has city table or customer table or any dimension table will have some unique identifier that is an ID column that is a primary key of that table and the corresponding relationship key will be there in our fact table. Here we have city ID, customer ID and this is a primary key and foreign key relationship. It's there between these two tables. Whatever is the primary key for the customer table, that is a foreign key of this sales table. And if I have more other dimension table, I can add it with this cell table, for example, product table, I can add date dimension. So it will be look like a star. That's why it is called star schema diagram. Third point, snowflakes. Snowflake schema, it's, a, it's an extension of this star schema. 
Here we have one state table. If you can observe, this state ID is not available in the sales table. But this state ID is available in the city table. This state table is considered as a dimension table only. But it is not directly connected with the sales table. It's connected with another dimension table. That means it's a extension of this dimension table. We can it's a snowflake way it is increasing. Okay, that's why this type of schema we can say snowflake schema. Why we are doing this snowflake schema? For example, if you have any reporting requirement where you need to display the state informations, then how do you do that? You don't have direct relationship with the sales table. Then you have to do some via this CT table, it will connect with the sales table. That's why we are defining this snowflake schema. Now we will uh, see what is the table properties and the column properties. If I click on this CT table, here we have name, description, synonyms. Also, we can define some column which will be used for your row level security. And this is a key column. If I select this CTID, this CTID column will be selected as a key column. Also, some property is hidden, is feature table, everything. If I extend this add funds tab, we can find out the storage mode. That means in which connection method you have imported this table. Import option, direct query or dual method. Okay. This is our table properties. If I click on some column, then the similar way it will have some description, synonyms, display folder. We can define this display folder later on. We can uh, look into this display folder in our next series of videos. Okay. Here we'll have is hidden, formatting, and short by column, data category, summarized by all those information. Also, in this report section, you can click on any column name. You can find out the property level informations. So in this video, we learn about what is flat schema, star schema, and snowflake schema. And also we came to know about table properties and column properties. I hope you like this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.